Okay, so next step, we've made our website that calls an API uh, from Azure Machine Learning Studio and uh, form to send up some data and get a prediction back. What we want to do is make this live now on an Azure uh, cloud website. So uh, for my students, navigate here to our BYU Microsoft Imagine program website. Uh, almost every school has this. Um, basically, log in and here's where you're going to find this new Azure for Students uh, option. And it's just going to give you some free credit. So I think mine's already added to cart. Let's see what it does here. Yep, already ordered it. Take a look at your orders. All it's going to give you now is a link. Oh, mine, I got mine back. Oh, no, that's Visual Studio. Here we go. Click to access Microsoft Azure for students. Okay, so it takes us here. You're going to activate and get this free credit. Basically, what we want to do is make sure you don't ever have to enter in a credit card in order to use Azure. Don't want any possibility of you guys accidentally getting a massive bill. That's happened in the past when we used AWS. But anyway, this process is a little bit complicated depending on if you already have an account or not. And I haven't been able to totally figure out why it works for some and not for others. Uh, my URL is still loading here. Let me pause this. Okay, so when you get here, how to verify your student status. We no longer get verification codes. So you have to use your school email address. So it means it has to be a byu.edu email address or whatever institution you're at. Um, mine's probably going to say you've already claimed it and so you're not going to get it again. So we come here verify and claim your offer. If you've already done this part, obviously please skip ahead. Verification e email sent to the one you provided. Okay, let me pull up my email. Okay, mine, my email actually came through in my spam folder and I had to move it back here to my inbox. So double check your uh, spam folder in case that's where yours ended up. So come here, activate it. As we wait again forever, let me pause. Okay, let's see this. I don't usually get this. Let me see. It wants me to... Verify my status by phone. Let's try text and see what that does. Let's see if I get my verification code. Yep, here it is. Five nine seven nine six six. Great verify code. So some of my students didn't have to do this. I'm not sure why. Oh, it's probably because I'm on my Gmail account and not on my BYU.edu account that I actually signed up under. So maybe I actually would be better if I signed out from this one and signed into that email address that I used uh, for it. But we'll see what this does. So yeah, you may not have had to do this if you're signed in into the same account. Okay, cool. So you, if you've never used Azure before, you don't have all this stuff right here. It's a lot like AWS. Um, I can build apps, SQL Server databases. What I want you to do is check here under cost management and billing. To make sure this worked, what we want to see here, perfect, is this Azure for students right there. Okay, so I have that available. I also have a credit card and a previous Microsoft Imagine account that I used to use. Um, so anyway, we're gonna use this Azure for students for here on out. Um, if you've got that, uh, just take a look through here and browse, but this is where I'm gonna stop this video for now. Uh, now you're good to go, and we'll start the next video on actually building out the website.